Welcome back, everybody, to another jam-packed episode of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Um, last time we were here, we uh, got a couple more Digimon, which we're going to go quickly uh, check into the Digilab. And also, we have to go ahead and see about this mystery person. Kind of see what's up, because they're in the hospital. I'm pretty sure it's the ghost boy, but I don't know. We'll find out. All right. What's up? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's probably the kid who ran all the time. That's crazy. Speak up. My ears aren't what they used to be. All right, cool. Well, see you later, old man. Crowds are... Uh, wait, crowded as ever today. So much long... Wait, how much longer am I going to have to wait? As long as you need to. Do I talk to a nurse? Do you think I talked to one of the nurses? What's up? If you have an appointment, please sign in and wait at the reception desk. All right. We'll go to the DigiLab quick. Take care of business. Oh, we gotta go to the digi convert. Is there anything there? No, okay. All right, I wanted to make sure. Yo, you didn't see anything, right? That's what I thought. You wanna know about the special word? I'm sorry, we have a policy against revealing information. Okay, cool. Well, don't worry. I have my own uh, personal physician. All the staff are kind and it's been a great hospital. Okay, somebody here. Uh, I think I caught a cold. Got a fever 104, so don't get close. Well, I'm already close to you. You probably gave it to me already. Sometimes you see people going to the special ward on the elevator. I wonder if they're family. I have a bad feeling for them. Okay. Do we have anything? No? Do I gotta hit the map? No. Okay. Let's go up this way. Let's go to the special ward. Because that's, like that's like the thing that like is the big... Everybody get to it. Hit the deck. Get into the chopper. Oh, what's up, man? This is a special ward you Unless your family or hospital staff entry is strictly prohibited. Okay. Hey, Kyoko. It's me. Uh, we can ride the elevator to the special ward floor, but can't enter the rooms without permission. Oh, now you tell me now. Kyoko always late as ever. It goes without saying that we have now that we have no such permission. What do we do now? We take out the two guards and hack our way past the door, which is likely locked, to get into the room. This is what I call a frontal attack, but it takes time to prepare and risk our high. Let's not rely on frontal attacks now. We'll trust in your ability, our trump card. I'm the trump card. The, trim, uh, the terminal and the nurse's station should be connected to the hospital network. I don't have to spell it out for you, do I? I mean, with that attitude, maybe I will ask you. Kyoko over here at the Kyoko over here talking spicy, man. Uh, she's she's like, I don't need to tell you that it has to be your jump, right? It's like, no, I got you. All right, connection jump. All right, so anything with like those spirals right there. Uh, yeah, we'll do a connection jump. I am 110 percent sure. Not a single soul. All right, wait. Who's all on my squad? Okay, everybody's there. I didn't see Koromon and I didn't see a uh, Pseudomon, so. I was Sunomon, sorry. Uh, let's do a tornado. Boom. Dude, greatest combo, baby. Terriermon. Terriermon and me, man. Level 9, level 3. I got too excited because, like, it was going do 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 do. Wait. I can finally use it. Got baby ghost. Now we just got 100%. Now we can get him. Alright, hey baby ghost, guess what? We got a crit. It's a crit. I love it. Did he do? Did he do? We already got a Pyomon. Pyomon? Pyomon? Hip hip Poremon? We in this. Alright, nobody leveled up. I love the level up sound. Alright, we got it. 200. Hey, guess what, buddies? Uh, forecast calls for a tornado. 
I can't help myself. <laughs> so they're at max. Can they digivolve is the question. If they can't, we're going to consume those Digimon. Hannibals, I know. You managed to get there without incident. Hee <laughs> hee, just as I expected it would go. Fair enough. Okay, let's move into action. Get the data from the room in the back while keeping an eye on the patient. I mean, technically it could be a crime, but I mean, hey, you can leave it to me. I'm trustworthy. Hmm, leave it to you, my prospective assistant. See? I got you. That's that's us. <laughs> no way. Exactly. Is this me? Is this my physical body? That was shocking, but I wasn't expecting to see that my own body was in such good shape. I should be happy, I suppose. Again, like that um, Alphonse Eldrick uh, kind of vibe. You know what I mean? But... If I'm being kept in isolation ward, then it really must then I really must have Eden syndrome. We do. Sad. He's like, ah, oh. we're like, ah. Oh. What a shame. Alright, let's try to get in here. Alright. File 001 Eden Syndrome. Uh mysterious illness whereabout people suddenly fall into comas while connecting to the Eden network. Okay. Originally the terms was given to insist to an in, insistent vomiting and other symptoms common to the those unused to spending time in the digital world uh but now eden syndrome is used to describe the most serious malady of inexplicably loss of consciousness while connecting to the eden network i mean that it sounds like us after extending time in a coma the body weakens becoming more sustainable to complications in the worst case this has to lead to death this is definitely like a over-the-top digimon game now because there's been a lot of questionable things said or done in this whole series series and death is one of them i wasn't expecting them to like actually touch in this follow to treatment of this treatment uh no effective treatments have been found for the syndrome research continues into treatments and cause of this is unexplained illness uh association with kishimori enterprises Ooh, eden is a large-scale digital space operated by Ki uh Kimishiro Enterprises. Uh, deeply affiliated with the government agencies, Eden's business areas are expanding quickly. Uh, immediately improvement, immediate, uh, wait, immediate improvements in user training must be provided to warn users against long login times. Okay, so don't be on the internet too long. Furthermore, the Eden interface uses uh, Kimishiro's Enterprises property technology, making them future re research sharing problematical. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's you, ghost boy. Why are you here? The area is supposed to be off limits with guards watching over the only entrance. Okay. Uh, why? How did you get here? Did you do something to the guards? Who even are you? It's like, come on. I know who you are. Who are you? Don't answer a question with a question. Answer me. I'm just a plain old detective assistant. Wait, is Kirimi? I see. Well, never mind then. You came to investigate Eden Syndrome. Was there something you wanted to ask? I'm like, what? I'll answer your questions. Don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to come clean in order to clear my name here. I'm in debt with Kimishiro, so if you have a few questions, I can answer them, I think. What should I ask? Uh... I guess we'll just ask everything. What is the cure? Uh, never heard of anyone recovering from it. Uh... She knows somebody that's been stuck in a deep sleep for a full eight years now? Do you think Shy Girl is actually the sister of Ghost Boy? Because they kind of look very similar? That's my new theory now. I'm sure he'll be fine. Someday he's sure to wake up. For now, all I can do is wait. Uh... What happens? Well, as you can see, patients with Eden syndrome all fall in a coma. I've heard of no other symptoms. Do you know someone else who's shown of? I mean... We're kind of like the living proof. Uh, who's that patient? Yeah, who, who that? This patient here? They were just brought in. They weren't here a few days ago. Are you worried about them? Oh, you two look exactly alike. Do you have a twin, perhaps? Sorry. Hmm, let's see. That's quite the coincidental resemblance. 
There are rumors uh, Kimishura evolved in some kind of accident. That's a misunderstanding, a mistake. Uh, Kimishura wants to find a cure for Eden Syndrome too. That's why they built the special ward and have special work specialists working around the clock looking for a cure. It's ridiculous that anyone should suffer because of Eden. I've I've got to do something. Hmm. I apologize for interrupting such an important conversation, but you have an uninvited guest. Uninvited? Who? Who could be this guest? Who? 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 Hello, guards. Thanks for working so hard. Oh, another hottie. <laughs> Miss Ree, we weren't expecting you today. Check out the bulging pecs on this guy. One look and my heart is all a flutter. Yeah, this is not your... This is not your mom and dad's Digimon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I can't resist. Po, po, po. <laughs> Miss Kishibi, I'm on duty. Oh, so hard. This music. Ria Kishibi, making that rounds behind the scenes. I'm curious what a Kamashiri bigwig is doing here. We got information we needed, now get out of here. No need to overstay your welcome. Oops, I've got a visitor as well. Let's meet in the lobby. Don't rush and don't make a fuss. Fair enough. Hi, quickly. Gotcha, I will, I will, I'm out. I'm out. Oh. Hello, you. Kishibi. Oh, dear, Yuko. You're well, I trust. Yuko, why does that name sound so familiar? Yuko, isn't that the ghost boy's name? I don't know. Maybe it's Yuko and Yugo because they're like twins. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Miss Ree, what happened today? I don't recall seeing your name at on the approved visitors list. Oh, no, I'm not. Maybe I was just struck with a sudden urge to see my darling Yuko. Are you worried about me being all by my lonesome? No, my re-senses was tingling and I had to come see if you were being a gloomy Gus again. I knew it. This is all so troubling, isn't it? No, per not particularly. Oh, look at you acting all strong, but I know. I know all about it. Know all about what? By the way, we have... What have you been doing here? Nothing. Nothing special. A picnic of sorts? Yes, I mean, no. No, it's... Yes, dear Yuko. Is something the matter? No. Is there perhaps someone else here? Perhaps a boyfriend? No, it's nothing like that. Or maybe it's a girlfriend? Ooh. Shall I have a look all of... Have I should... Should I have a little look around? Doing something unsubscript... Doing something suspicious in that room, or better yet, something scandalous. Ooh, ooh. Ah. She's like, oh, just let me help myself over here. I'm a big wig. I'm like, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What are we gonna do? She comes in and finds us. We're doomed. Doomed. Now, now, I got you all figured out. You can come out now, Yukon's new squeeze. My name is Rai. Rai, Ri, Rai. We'll say Rai like Pi. And I'm tasked with being Yuko's guardian here. Holding hands or locking lips, gilding each other step by step towards adulthood. Where'd we go? Well, Drat, there's nobody here. But dear Yuko, it doesn't matter. You can bring one or two boyfriends, or even three dozens of them if you like. God, she's thirsty. Why, when I was your age? Oh, ho, ho. When your age? How old are you? Now then, let's check in and see how he's doing. Don't you think he'll be happy to see the two of us together? Um, sure. She's like, where'd he go? Uh, where did they... Yeah, where did we go? Oh, because we can hop. That's right. We got our technique. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we are. Look at the squad. This is a squad if I ever seen one. I'm pumped because those are OGs. All right, let's get a little weather control up here. All right, no biggie. 
Uh, I guess we'll do regular attacks. They seem to do better. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Sunomon. Alright, let's go, Koromon. Oh, Su he's a fire type. That makes sense why he's doing so much more. He's a fire type. I'm telling you right now, when we get a chance, when we get a chance to uh, consume these Digimon, we're going to. And we'll see like who need like who's close to leveling up. Cause that will do a whole lot. Two? Let's go, 75. Bet. Crit. That's a crit. Alright. Should be easy money. Now we got Coromon, and that should be CLA. Oh yeah, it's a red. Times 1.5 easy money. I love that this has like a Pokemon feel to a Digimon game. So it seems like Koromon and Sunomon are going to be leveling at the same time, which is perfect. So hopefully they have the same like around about times. All right, now we can get one of those. Perfect. Tornado. All right. Who's up? All right, let's do this. There we go. And now we just get Koromon to go get the nice, lovely uh, XP bonus 1.5. There we go. Now we got Teenimon, so now we can we can include a Tanimon into our uh, group. No, let's go back for a second. Because I want to see if we can find... That's not bad, actually. Because if we do that, then we'll be able to get like a very strong one off the rip. Okay, and now Koromon. Whoa, look at all those extra attacks. You see that? That's crazy. I think we're close to 200. We have to be close to 200. Do a normal attack. Boom. Alright. I'm just trying to get an, enough of those so I can get a uh, Tentamon. Just do a tornado. Easy money. Alright. I want to be able to get Tentamon. Could you imagine if we got all the OGs? Okay, so now we have enough for... At least to scan both of them, which is perfect. Alright, what do we got? We'll use, we'll use Pseudomon right there. Take him out. And now we get Koromon to take out her. Easy money. Don't have to waste a single thing of SP. I can't wait for Baby Flame. Having Baby Flame is going to be nice. Montimon. Alright, so that means the next battle that we do, we 110% should be able to level up. That's 200, baby. Okay. Take out that. Alright, Koromon, do your thing. We got a nice little, like, rhythm. I miss all the other ones doing it. We're literally gonna go... Go progress to the story after we do this. Momentai. Alright. Continue going. There you go. We came what we came for. Uh, you know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If we can find another one of those, there we go. I guess what I'm trying to do is, is at least get it to 200, because that would be perfect. Could you imagine if we got a two 200s? And a crit on top of a spec, like on top of a advantage. 
so close but we're getting at least like the xp is coming along so i mean it's it's basically a pokemon game we're basically training to xp yes let's go one more and then it's 200 and then i'm out of here i'm gone okay sunomon let's go boom baby all right so they're gonna evolve next time I have faith that this will happen right here. Dang, I already see a bunch of them. Can I just get a tornado? Alright, now let's take them out. One. Level 11 and a level and two level 8s. Beautiful. And we get like an XP share all the time, so... That's gonna hurt my neck at some point. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. You'll just see me one time go, ah! Dude, why? Why these things? Just show me one more to get Tentamon. Montimon? Yeah, Monimon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, Comet Hammer? I want to see. That's kind of cool. I want to see the fireball. <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. <sighs> Come on. Why can't I just get one? I just want one more. One more encounter. They got two perfect one, uh, two perfect 200s. Oh, they can't level up anymore. Level 9. So wait, that must mean that they can go the Gabumon and Agumon. There it is. That's the last one. Our first combo. Double bubble and full of trouble. Alright. That's pretty... That's awesome. I don't care what anybody says. That was our first time doing it. And... Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> it's just cool. They're both shooting bubbles. Alright. All right, yep, we officially did. I wanted to confirm and make sure there's a speed charge. Ooh, we get, we do get 20 attacks, though. Got a crit, okay. Boom, all right. All right, let's do it. I know I didn't do the whole tornado, so that's my bad. All right, we're moving on up in the world. Yep, let's log out. Let's actually save real quick. I was going to say, definitely want to save. We'll go to the lobby because we got to meet back up, but yeah. I feel like it was a very productive, productive session so far. You escaped the... Uh... Oh, you escaped that predicament all on your own. Hee <laughs> hee. See, I knew you could do it. Now that, now then, shall we head back? I mean, why not? Let's head back. We learned a lot. We learned that my body's there. I can't imagine what the shock of seeing your own body from the outside is like. If we think of it, it like an out-of-body experience, maybe we could find a solution. You're the first Eden Syndrome patient to exhibit these particular symptoms, the first irregular amongst them. Simply knowing this is a major step in getting to the bottom of this. We can't rush into the investigation. It mustn't hurry things along. Stay cool, stay calm. Uh, dodgingly and with all your might, exhibit endurance like hard black iron. Yeah, because we like that. My father used to say that all the time. Well, he was a good man. Maybe. But back to the issue at hand. What are you planning to do next? Hmm, I'm not too sure. Do you want to return to your original body? Or do you want to know the truth of what happened? I think I want to know what happened, honestly. I feel like that would be more productive. He just shook his head. Hmm, then it's decided. You should work here as my assistant. Well, now we're official. 
there will be many cases dealing with Eden and cyber crimes. The more work you do, the more clues we'll be able to find. Don't worry, I'm certain of your potential, and while you're at it, I'll cover your room and board. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so then at least we get to stay for free. So, I mean, I'm excited about that. Besides with your talents, who else is better suited for cyber investigation? I mean, she has a point. I'm expecting great things. Me too. Don't double cross me or I'll be upset. Excellent. We have an agreement. From this point forward, you are my assistant. Cyber sleuth. So, we're the cyber sleuth. It only took three episodes to finally know what a cyber sleuth is, and that's us. Still not sure of it, what that means, but hey, it's us. Hmm. Have a seat on the sofa wait, and wait. I'll make some coffee. We'll drink a to- we'll, We will- Wait, we will drink a toast to celebrate. I don't want your coffee. I've got- I got bad vibes. Somebody told me that your coffee is very suspicious. Yeah, he was like, oh, shh. He's like, oh, snap. I forgot about the coffee. Old man tried to warn us about this deadly coffee. Seaweed and red bean paste coffee. Maybe it's good in real life, but like, look at that though. Seaweed and red bean paste coffee? Gross. My specialty. Why is it your specialty? Oh, I know. It looks all fancy, but wait until you get a load of the flavor and aroma. How's that like fancy? It doesn't look fancy. Here to you, cyber sleuth. Hmm. Slurp, gulp, 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 gulp. Um, I'm very scared, but if I go, like, if I slurp it, like, I won't fully consume it. But if I go gulp, I'll fully consume it. And if I go gulp, 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 I'm consuming the whole thing. Maybe he's psyching us out. I don't know. She's kind of still sketchy. So I think we should go in between instead of slurp and gulp, 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 gulp. I think we should just go gulp. That was a mouthful. That was... I, I swear, did you double cross me? I swear to God. You got 1,000 CSP. Yeah, we're gonna save. Baby cyber sleuth. But what is a cyber sleuth? Okay, anyway. Let's get down to it. I have something for you. Your first duty to kick off your new career as a cyber sleuth. If Nakanano is gonna be your base of operation, you should make the roads and introduce yourself at the various establishments here. You'll be depending on these places a lot, so it's important that you know who you are. They know who you are. I'm like, okay. Hmm, oh yeah, let me explain about the whiteboard. Hanging on the wall on the right of my desk is a whiteboard, you see. Uh, you can accept cases from there. Okay, so basically we can accept missions. There are a bunch of side missions. Field practice is better than book learning. I'll put some simple cases upon the whiteboard, check it out, and start working on some cases. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Search for the father. Yuko Yama Yamaashi? Yeah, Yuko Amayashi. I want to see something though. Can I... Aren't you impatient? How about meet the neighbors and learn the cases working from the whiteboard uh okay well since since she's kind of forcing her hand right now that we have to like do the whiteboard and stuff why don't we save that for next episode um this one may have been a little bit shorter than the other ones but that's okay though that means we're gonna have a lot of more jam-packed adventures when we come back right right so hey if you're enjoying this just as much as i am because we finally figured out that the cyber sleuth means us and we're just a baby cyber sleuth uh hey hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and at the end of each episode always remember be good people i love you until next time you matter